Hi, this is Joe, and as you noticed, I broke my key off into the ignition. Uh, I didn't turn it very hard, but it snapped right off. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the uh, top triple tree clamp, which includes the igni ignition switch, and then we're going to try to get the key out. We may have to disassemble the whole switch assembly to get to where the uh, key is stuck in the uh, barrel, but we're going to try to get it out uh, with the least amount of work. So let's go ahead and uh, pull this top clamp here and uh, to get the ignition switch off, see what we can do. We have a, a five millimeter Allen wrench and there's a cover here for the steering dampener. So we're going to remove these two screws here. First off, okay, and we can push this out of the way. Underneath this cover is the uh, rod end for the steering dampener. So we've uncovered that now. Now we're going to loosen the bolt or the nut underneath this uh, this rod end and we're going to then disconnect that from the top clamp. We can loosen this bolt and the pinch bolts on each of the forks and we can hopefully pull that uh, top clamp off. So let's uh, pull that off. To expose this rod end we've taken and turn the uh, handlebars all the way to the right. That way we can get underneath. There's a, a nut at the very bottom. So we're going to loosen that bolt there. And it is a 10 millimeter wrench. So to get underneath there, we've done that. Let's go get another 10 millimeter wrench so we have two wrenches to loosen that bolt. Now we can loosen that, that bolt. Okay, we got the nut off. Now we can pull the rod end off. Now we can loosen the top clamp bolt. At the top of the clamp, there's two bolts per side. We're going to loosen the top clamp bolts on both sides. Now we'll loose go over and loosen the other two on the other side. Now we can loosen the top clamp bolt or nut. On this top bolt, it's a 30 millimeter. So off camera I loosen that with a breaker bar. And we're, we were able to get that loose. And there's a washer underneath that bolt. So make sure we take those and put those off to the side. Pulling the triple clamp was pretty hard. On this top bolt there was a bracket. And that bracket was bolted to the clip-on. So I had to loosen that bolt and now I can remove that. But as you see we're still connected with the electrical connector. So what I'm probably going to have to do is pull the right top fairing cover to disconnect that electrical connector. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get ready to do that now. I pulled the fairings off. The reason why I didn't videotape it is I have aftermarket fairings so to pull them off it's a little bit different. So just pull your right upper fairing and you'll notice right where my finger is pointing there's a bracket that holds two wires. One wire, this upper wire, goes to the ignition switch. So we're going to pull this metal bracket here, which then frees loose 
this clip and I'll show you in a minute. This goes directly to the ignition coil. I'm sorry, directly to the ignition switch. Just below the handlebars, just below the gas tank right here, there's a reddish brown electrical connector. This connector goes to the upper wire which goes to the ignition switch. So now we're going to disconnect this electrical connector here. And this connector is connected to a bracket right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the bracket. There's a bolt. Looks like a 10 millimeter bolt right here. So let me go get my uh, ratchet and my 10 millimeter socket and we'll disconnect that uh, bracket. One thing I forgot to mention right at the very beginning, you need to disconnect your battery because you are working with electrical connectors here. You don't want to short anything out. So we're going to loosen this metal bracket here. And make sure you don't drop your bolt. Then we can remove the metal bracket and the reddish brown connector is connected to this bracket. So now we can pull that electrical connector from that bracket. Getting this bracket off was really tough. What I found out is there's a, a little tab here you have to lift up on this tab and then it will slide off of the notch on this bracket. So now we can pull the top clamp off with the ignition switch. Let's go over and put this on the bench and take a look and see if we can get the, uh, the broken key out. If not, we're going to have to uh, disassemble the ignition switch. These are eight millimeter security bolts. They can be tightened, but not loosened unless you have a special tool. And I've done some searching out on the web and I can't find this tool. So apparently you have to get that, it, have Honda do it. So what I'm going to do and what I've read out on some of the Honda forms is you can take an easy out and you can then drill a hole and then you can try to use an easy out to loosen these security screws and then you can either purchase new security screws they're around two dollars and fifty cents each or you can replace them with regular eight millimeter uh, bolts so I'm going to try to drill that out here, and we'll try to twist these out with the easy out. I ended up using a left-handed drill bit. And that removed the, the security bolt. So that is one. Now we have to get the other one out. So uh, the easy out didn't work, but the left-handed drill bit removed that. So now we know how long these bolts are. We can get eight millimeter bolts without the security head. Or if you want to be secure, you can order uh, from Honda, you can order the uh, one-way security bolts when you go and put the uh, ignition switch back together. 
we were successful in using a left-handed drill bit to get the other side of the ignition lock out. So these are again those security bolts. So we got those out. Now we can try to disassemble the ignition switch and get the broken key out. There were two small cross point screws on either side. So now we can remove the outer cover on the ignition switch and now we can move remove the key portion on here and notice there's a spring there so now we should notice there's little tabs on here and that's how you'll mount remount when you assemble this back together so there's the key security key there's a little flapper valve on there that keeps you from being able to put another key in there we will take the spring out now you notice we can look inside let's let the camera focus here a bit inside you can see the broken off key so now we'll see if we can disassemble this barrel in here and pull that broken key out okay notice the little dimples in the switch area and the way the key slot is pointing here now we're going to reach in and now we can pull out the part where the key is in and now what we're going to do is try to extract that portion of the key so we'll set aside this this originally went in like like that there's a lock that goes there so we'll put this off to the side and now we'll try to extract the broken off key from this barrel here I broke the key uh, off in the ignition in my CBR 600 RR and I've tried to dig the uh, the broken key out with a pick and a pair of tweezers didn't work so what we're going to do is we're going to try to use hot glue to uh, pull the bottom part of the key out so I've never tried this before but uh, we're going to see if it's going to work I put some hot glue on the end of the key and we inserted the key back into the ignition switch and we're going to let it uh, cool down here and become hard and then we'll try to pull the key out I've never done this before so we're going to try it see what happens I may try this a couple times if it doesn't work the other alternative is uh, to take it to a locksmith I've tried using a pair of tweezers and a pick and couldn't get the broken key out so if this doesn't work then it's a trip to the locksmith took the key and the ignition switch to the locksmith and he was able to dig that out using some special uh, picks and uh, thin pliers so I got a couple keys made so uh, because I disassembled everything and removed it from the bike to have the uh, the broken key picked out and two new keys made it was only fifty dollars so well worth the time it took to uh, disassemble the uh, ignition switch pull the triple clamp off the top um, looking uh, if, if I would have had to replace the ignition switch and the gas tank lock and the seat lock uh, probably be over three hundred dollars so all in all this was uh, this uh, fix uh, saved me a lot of money. So hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.